Hello and welcome to our next video. We are still at flow measurement. This time we are talking about positive displacement. Displacement meters. Flow meters, of course. Positive displacement meters. How are they working? How are they working? Usually we have some sort of tube, okay, then we do have some chamber and then the tube moves further, okay, and inside this chamber there is usually, or there are usually, some rotating parts or something like this, they maybe look like this, yeah. Whenever here they are sealed, they can nothing pass. Yeah. Whenever there's flow, whenever here's flow, yeah, it needs to pass in these chambers. Yeah. So now, right now, a part is passing here. If it's moving further, this thing here is moving, and this thing here is moving in that direction. Here, this is also already filled, this part. Yeah. And when this turns further, the one below will look like will look like this. And ceiling here. And the one above will look like this. Yeah. So vice versa. And it's always turning, turning, turning. And we'll always get a chunk a part of water to the other side. The only thing we have to measure is how many turns we took. And then we know, since this is a defined volume, a positive displacement, okay, defined volume, I know how much flow. I just have to see how many rotations per minute this thing is doing, and I know how much flow this thing is doing. Okay? So this thing here, this thing here is called oval gear type. How those things really look like. Yeah? This is up to the fantasy or fanciness, let's say, of the of the engineer who is building them. Yeah? There are various various variants out there. Yeah? One I want to show you, but it's a little bit too complicated to draw. Uh, so I show you in the script. So this thing here, this thing here I want to show you. Okay. Ringkolbenzähler in German. In English it's called notation disc. Yeah. It's because the, the disc which is inside here, this is this part, yeah. and this, so which is striped from left top to right bottom. Yeah. This thing is guided here linearly and here rotary part. So it does not really turn itself, yeah, it just wobbles around. Yeah. Let's follow, let's follow the blue part, the blue marked part here. So you see E marking the entrance and A is marking the outrance, <laughs> the output. Input, output, that's in German, Engel, Oscar. Okay. Input is now, there is the hole in the back. Yeah, and there is the hole in the back for the output. They are separated by this wall. Oops. They are separated by this wall. You see, this blue part is getting bigger. So water is streaming inside this blue part. And more and more water is gathered in this volume. And then at some point in time, the wobbling disc, rotation disc, is covering, is sealing the entrance from this volume. So it's now it's a defined volume and this will then be pushed to the output. Yeah. So with every turn I push the blue part to the output. Let's follow the red part. Yeah. This is the position where the red part hits its maximum value. Here everything is sealed yeah. and when the wobble disk is moving further, here we open the output and press out the red 
apart totally. This part. So every rotation here means I deliver red part and a blue part. These two volumes together are the defined volume and I just have to check how many rotations per minute. Yeah? But keep in mind, inside there is nothing really rotating, it's just wobbling around. That's it. Ringkolbenzähler. Notation disk. So, you see there can be various, various constructions of these positive displacement meters. However, all of them have something built in, so I do have a pressure loss. That's for sure. Yeah. However, the accuracy, the accuracy is really high because I really have a defined volume there, right? So I have high accuracy and I'm not sensitive to viscosity because this volume stays the same. It's not pressing somewhere around or something like this. Yeah. I have wear, that's a disadvantage. I have pressure loss, that's a disadvantage. And yeah, they are somewhat sensitive if there is too much pressure. Yeah. yeah, positive displacement meters. They were very often used in the public water water supply yeah, to charge you for the water. Yeah. A lot of positive displacement meters were used. Nowadays they are they are magnetic, magnetoinductive. Okay, they more and more change to the magnetic inductive variant the past years. Yeah. That's it for the positive displacement meters. Next thing we are going to discuss is turbine flow measurement. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.